Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. Zooming in on really emerging through a narcissist encounter and how to really try to make light of it. Um, I have uh, a lot of contact from viewers who are suffering anxiety and depression, uh, self-doubt after encountering a narcissist. Um, it could have been their parents, it could have been their um, their spouse, it could have been their children, but they're really experiencing a lot of uh, guilt, anxiety, depression, really that plagues people for years, years after um, encountering a narcissist. Because of the, the cruelty, because of the chronic abuse, because of the emotional abuse. And really, you know, because they're not able to really get a grasp of the tools that are able to release them of their connection to this person. So what I found in my studies, um, being, um, you know, uh, having a degree in psychology and English and doing um, extensive study on these types of personality disorders and experience with the population, um, I find that the people who suffer as a result of being involved with these people um, and who are stuck, who have, you know, ongoing anxiety, ongoing depression, ongoing identity issues, ongoing, um, you know, crippling uh, sadness, uh, melancholy, um, you know, feeling like they, they can't trust themselves or they can't trust life anymore. The people who are really plagued by these heavy emotions um, are really still plagued by these because they're still playing a story in their mind. Uh, they're still playing a story of themselves being still involved with these people. Uh, they continue to play it. They, they see themselves over and over being victimized. They see themselves over and over receiving the abusive comments. They see themselves in their mind, you know, which is called, you know, a flashback, uh, which is very typical of someone with um, complex PTSD or PTSD, where, you know, one continues to play in their mind these flashbacks um, of them being abused. Um, of them, you know, being physically abused, uh, emotionally abused, verbally abused, sexually abused. So what happens is when this continues to play over and over in their mind, one creates what's called basically a victim identity, meaning one's whole self, one's whole identity begins to become that of a victim. In other words, it's like, I am a victim. I am abused. I am less than. I am sore, you know, I am worthless, I am horrible, I am terrible. Um, you know, it's really the, it's all the internalized projection of the narcissist, of the abuser, that goes to create this, what I'm going to call a negative validated identity within the person. So that person has this so ingrained uh, within them, it's playing over, it's part of their neuro uh, their, their neuro fabric. It's part of their neurobiology at this point. The neurons, which are the nerve cells, just like we have skin cells, just like we have lung cells, just like we have hair cells, you know, we have brain cells called neurons. And the people have been so abused that all their neurons that uh, work together are created in kind of a, a neural network that go to continue to play this. So their emotions, um, in their limbic brain are you know completely uh, fueled by their um, by their memory so by uh, from their cerebellum so you know the their, where their memory is stored you know within your mind um, within you know your imagination you know your uh, where your memories are housed um, these these memories continue to fuel the uh, the emotions of depression and anxiety, and these are created actually in, in the limbic brain. So that's where a lot of your um, emotions are actually created and manufactured. And so, you know, that's why when you think of positive memories, you know, something that was awesome for you, you know, you release joy, tingling, lightness, you know, exhilaration. You know, you're laughing. You you. Remember maybe the first time you dove into a swimming pool when you were a child or the very first time you rode a bike or the very first time, you know, um, you took a walk around your block by yourself when you were five years old, you know, or maybe your first day of kindergarten, you know, these exhilarating, fun, 
moments of anticipation, you reflect back about these. You know, for some people, maybe they weren't happy. For some people, they were very traumatic. Um, but, you know, each person, you know, is going to have some, you know, at least time where they had ex experienced some sort of exhilaration trying something for the first time. And so this, this shows you the power of memories and how they fuel emotions and then how they fuel the feeling in the body, which is, you know, the language of, um, the, the language of emotions in your body is experience. So, you know, the thoughts, um, you know, create the emotions which are then registered and experienced in the body. So likewise, you know, the heavy feelings of um, the anxiety, depression, guilt, feeling fear, feeling less than, feeling victimized, feeling shamed, uh, feeling uh, shunned, feeling abandoned, feeling hated, um, all these negative treatments that have been chronically, uh, you know, enacted by the narcissist in one's life. So the verbal abuse, the emotional abuse, the physical abuse, the slamming of doors, the yelling, the shouting, the condescension, all those things create a negative memory which then, you know, which the mind then plays and then creates a negative emotion in the limbic brain, which then sends the body into fight or flight, which is a fear state, and, you know, sends your adrenals running and gets you then, you know, feeling a different set of emotions and feelings and a different set of chemicals, which make you feel depressed, fearful, anxiety, freaking out, you know, the uh, great depressions of you know, feeling like I can't do this, the disempowerment, um, the not being able to accomplish things, not being able to complete things that you want. So really it's those stories that are played in the mind that create then the, he the heaviness. So then we absolutely positively have to release those stories and say, you know what, I'm, I'm no longer playing those stories over and over in my mind again. I'm no longer being victimized by this person. I'm no longer, um, I'm detaching from that, that source of toxicity negativity and heaviness in my life that's I don't deserve that I don't want that I can't function there that's not my true destiny is to be stuck underneath the reign of a narcissist abuser I am liberating myself I am freeing myself from that and I'm no longer connected I'm no longer the mind-body connection to those stories that was the treatment of the narcissist and <clears throat> you know whoever was in that path was going to receive that treatment I'm now disengaging from that and I'm now liberating my life to live a better story, a better set of emotions, <clears throat> a better sort of uh, memory base that I'm calling upon. And I'm now living my life moving forward, creating happy memories, creating happy feelings and empowerment that I deserve. So in turn, your existence becomes a little bit lighter, a little bit more happy, a little bit more joyful and really truly purpose-driven. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.